Now, following on from some of our earlier videos where we've connected Ubuntu to an Active Directory, here I'm going to show you a common problem which is not usually addressed in a lot of configuration videos, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. First of all, I'm going to connect as the Active Directory user. And I'm going to go ahead and then run a sudo command. And what you're going to get told is that you don't have privileges to run a sudo. Now, the quick and easy way to fix this, obviously, is to put a group into the sudo uh, user's uh, configuration file that allows you to do this. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the configuration file. And what I would say is if you're not 100% sure what you're doing, open it as root and stay logged in as root. So that if you make a configuration, um, let's say error, you can correct it without having to reload the server. Now, if you look at this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the domain users to this listing. Now, because the domain user group has a space in it, I'm going to have to use the exit character for the space. And I'm also going to enter the domain, which I'm getting it from, so that there's no confusion as to where. And then last but not least, the privileges. In this case, we're going for everything, so all and all. And once that's done, I'm going to try and run a sudo command again as my uh, domain user. In this case, it happens to be my domain admin, but in this case, it's because it's the only user I have on my test machine. Um, if I had another user, I could test it as another user, but I don't. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And again, that normally you wouldn't go ahead and say all domain users can run sudo commands. So you would have a, a particular group set up, but I figure that domain users, since the name has a space in it, was a perfect example to show how domain name groups with a space in can be resolved that way. Hopefully you liked the video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button.